so as no timing position width pace information is provided no like perfect heuristic is provided so we need to guess the alignment it's based on alignment in different techniques is like most likely sequence most probable one highest probability one average weighted average based on situation sequence or in in terms this is like training in terms of decoding uh, decoding or prediction beam search decoding all those which we have said so those techniques can be applied so one we will see how those things will happen so we need to guess the alignment for now so this is like uh, input sequence or uh, image at that time stamp we will feed it to rn or lstm or bi dimensional lstm cell and we will get the output we can get uh, for like many to one or one to one for every time stamp we can get and we can uh, merge those cells but here again while merging the chances will be like here half h here comes half h here comes so we have discussed that so uh, when we merge these cells if this is a unit if we just copy paste this duplicate this other time and we will just merge the same unit it's like a module we are reusing it so these uh, problems will occur so most likely sequence as you can see from this timestamp this is the highest in this timestamp this is the highest probability actually so if we will do like this we will get this uh, output but the actual gt value is this which is completely wrong so we can't do something like this so we need uh, in decoding actually like prediction so and for training also we can't do like that so we want some methods metrics so what metrics we can do is simply first of all we need to uh, align right so uh, if we take all the vocabulary terms in training i am talking about so if we take all the vocabulary terms it's not it's like unnecessary thing it's not necessary that much we can just take the terms which are appearing in gt like given text target uh, sequence what are the uh, words are there we can just take that only like z we can take x we can take gamma we can take z x gamma and z dash and z again we can just duplicate it so what i'm talking about is like we can take z this one z we can take and then x we can take x we can take gamma we can take and again we can just duplicate this we can get a, a name one more z so that we are trying to show here like this so we are taking those things we will just take those rows only so that means i'm just going to take this row and this row this gamma row and again z row again i will duplicate it as you can see so these two rows will be same because as per the given text we are doing and we will merge that so this will be new table so instead of taking this whole table we are just now left with this four rows and we will just map it such a way that what happens is we need to move from this uh, left top to towards right bottom so that will be like monotonically, monotonically decreasing way so we have to choose a path in this way so that what happens is whatever the alignment we are going to get in training for example here for suppose we'll get z then again z then we will go for example x then for example we go to gamma then we go to z again so z z x gamma z so duplicate one time we can write z x gamma z so it is matching with given text anything whatever the path we will choose it will match with given text and we now need to find what is the highest probability like what is the highest path cost like products actually so what is the path cost of which alignment gives more path cost so based on that accuracy will be more and less path cost uh, loss will be more so loss should be minimum loss should be minimum accuracy should be high and the probability the max probability what we are talking about it should be high so these things are we are just looking for so we find the most probable path from source to sink source to sink like this is top right top left side is like source and right bottom side is sink and again this means is nothing but probability of occurring of z at time stamp 0 this is time stamp 0 and this is a symbol so this is time stamp and this is talking about symbol this is nothing but time the symbol at that position and which position uh like we are talking about symbol z as per in the terms of rows in terms of column timestamp zero so this is timestamp zero s of r so here s of r is nothing but z and this is nothing but zero timestamp so the y is nothing but output so probability of that so we need to find and we can use any uh the, like to find most probable path from source to sync we can use any dynamic programming dp algo for example the Viterbi algo like it is like it will find the maximum 
likelihood those things like maximals like optimal uh, algorithm it's like that which needs to find the maximum of two parts or maximum of two cells three cells four cells like that so a uh, little guess how this works is like bp of 0 comma i is null so it's not bp of 0 comma i is null it's nothing but uh, this zero is referring to t so uh, if i can just show you this is t and this is l t is the time step l is nothing but uh, rho so this is t this is l okay now for zero time step we are starting from here right and for every others like for zero time step all will be null right from 0 to k minus i all will be null then we will initialize g because what happens is like we are just blocking out so we have to block these cells because the first word is always z only because given text starts from z intermediate or next word can be z intermediate can be anything and the last word is always z because to maintain the consistency with this given text so we have to block these cells which have marked as cross that's why we will just assign null to everything and again we'll reinitialize 0 comma 0 uh, to 0 uh, y0 of s of 0 s of 0 is nothing but in our case given text is for example z x gamma z so it will be z here 0 is 0 times time and for 0 comma i as i have shown you for all others uh, it will be minus infinity so cross is nothing but minus infinity cross is nothing but in our case minus infinity so what are these things bp is nothing but best predi uh, prediction so it's like length or uh, we are just storing the variable so when we back propagate we can get the sequence out of it so we are just storing here the letter in bp best prediction b source is nothing but best score which will be helping us in the algorithm i will show you so for other timestamps so we have just covered this zero timestamp uh, this is t is equal to zero this is t is equal to one and so on for other timestamps uh, we will run a loop and we have again internal loop for every row this is column so for every row we have another before that we need to initialize uh, bp like best prediction t comma 0 for every timestamp uh, 0th row we need to initialize 0 because for this we are not able to like we will slightly get from over here we can't get from, from over here but for this we can get it from over here or we can get it from over here but these are blocked for suppose so if we come over here for suppose we can get it from over here or we can get it from over here so we need to initialize from initially as uh, 0 and b source will be like it will be from previous timestamp as i have said for this for suppose it will be whatever we are getting bp over here so it will come over here for uh, 0th row like th <coughs> this one for every 0th row and best prediction is nothing but 0 because uh, it is only right uh, we are just uh, traveling the same direction so it is only the best prediction previously also for this and now what happens is like for every other rows um, we have to calculate like this for suppose we have over here it can be from here or can, but uh, but this is cancelled actually so we can just cancel out so we can example is like this one this is like y2 x this uh, for this we need to have the values for this cell and for this cell you are getting right this cell this cell and this one is y1x this one is y1z and this one is y2x so we want these things to calculate this that is like uh, if b source of t minus 1 l minus 1 that is nothing but if this is t and l t minus 1 l minus 1 is this one and uh, is greater than t minus 1 l t minus 1 l is this so if this is greater than this so we have to take this one um, l minus 1 because we are calculating about l because t is same only so l minus 1 we have to take or l what l minus 1 l are these nothing but the symbols symbols we are talking so if this is greater we will take z that means that to come here this is the highest probability so we have to come like this if this is higher we have to continue like this so l minus 1 is z l means we are in the same track uh, over here that means nothing but x so we have to store that in bp of t comma l so we are storing here bp of t is what 2 comma x is nothing but if it this is the highest we will just store l as uh, 0 
right this is an index then we can ret um, retrieve it easily by uh, like suffixes we can store l is 0 means nothing but z l1 means x l2 means comma l3 means z so we can just these are the indexes present so we can just retrieve it later right 